did you know that plants are alive, just like you or me? Since plants are alive, they must breathe somehow, right? Like we breathe in and out. So our bodies have enough air. But how do you think plants breathe? How do you breathe? He's not going to tell us anything. Guess that means we need to figure it out for ourselves. Let's go. Today, we're going to conduct an experiment to answer this question. We're going to be magicians today because we're going to be able to see something that is normally invisible. Today, all you need is a bowl, some water, and a leaf. The important part is that you use an active leaf, one that you take from a tree or a plant. Make sure you ask first. If we have a dry, crunchy leaf from the ground, it won't work because those leaves are unfortunately dead. We need to use an alive, active leaf today. It is a beautiful, gorgeous day outside, guys. I think I'm going to take a leaf off of this tree. So let's see. I'm gonna take a few just since they're small. And I'm gonna take this one. And I'm gonna take this one. Okay. I've got three active leaves right here. Let's go bring them inside. And also, I need to find a rock. I want a rock that isn't like super big on top of one of these. So I want a really small one. That. That's about a good size. I have this three story wall right here and it's all full of rocks so if anyone's ever looking for rocks for experiment i got you would you guys watch if i did like nature walks with caitlin nature walks because nature is neat that is not my idea i got it from another guy on youtube fill your bowl with lukewarm water that means not too hot not too cold we don't want it to be too hot or too cold because plants like it just right. Just like us and just like Goldilocks. Put your leaf in the water and place your small rock on top of it just so it doesn't rise to the top. We want the entire leaf covered. Now wait, go do something else for a few hours. Your plant needs time to breathe and he's not gonna breathe if you're just staring at him. It's kind of like Santa Claus. He's not gonna come if you're awake. So you need to go do something so your plant can work his magic. And you're still there. Why are you still here? What would happen if you held your breath, go underwater in a pool, and then let your breath out? You would see bubbles coming out of the water. That's what we can see here. Our leaf is covered in little tiny bubbles. Our leaf uses sunlight to make energy. After it makes its energy, it gets rid of the things it no longer needs, like any extra air. That's why these bubbles are here. It's the extra air the leaf doesn't need anymore. It's kind of like it breathed out what it didn't need in these little bubbles. So even though plants don't breathe the same as we do, it still takes in and lets out air. We can see that with the bubbles sitting on the leaf, which means it's alive, just like us. If you do this at home today, I'd love to see how your leaf breathes like mine. Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you.